Let's go to Capitol Hill with one of our good friends, the ranking member of the Committee on Oversight and Government Reform, Democratic Congressman Elijah Cummings of Maryland. Elijah, so good as always to talk to you. Tell me what can your committee do on the House side to push this investigation forward so Americans, so Republicans and independents and Democrats alike can know whether their president has been unduly influenced by Russia? Well, clearly we are in a crisis of confidence, no doubt about it. And what we can do, Joe, is to bring in a Rosenstein, the, the deputy, uh, Sessions, and certainly uh, Comey, to try to figure out exactly what happened with regard to this firing. Um, it is quite alarming to see and hear what happened. And to be frank with you, uh, to have the president invite the person who was in charge of investigating him to dinner and then discuss uh, his job tenure uh, and also discuss um, whether he's under investigation is, is from a legal standpoint and from an everyday person standpoint is shocking to the conscience. Congressman and Cummings, so Willie, guys, we've got to address that. Uh, Congressman Cummings, it's, it's Willie. Who's the one person you'd like to have sit before your committee and, and ask questions who's not so far been willing to come and talk to you all? In other words, who do you think holds the key to this question of the relationship between the Trump campaign and Russia? Flynn and Manafort. And uh, I'd love to hear from both of them. I think that they hold the key, no doubt about it, in my mind. Um, I also want to address this issue of uh, Rosenstein. Uh, I know him. Keep in mind that he is from uh, my state. Right. And, and President Obama kept him on for two terms in a heavily Democratic state. And, and basically he had the unanimous support of all the Democrats uh, in our delegation pretty much. And so when I heard about this, I said, that doesn't sound like uh, Rosenstein. Mm. Um, he worked with us very closely in the city. I found him to be a very honorable man. And I think he has uh, unfortunately been tainted by all of this. But now is a moment for him to step up. He is, I'm, I mean, I know people have said that his reputation has been tarnished to some degree. But at, at 27 years uh, in the U.S. Attorney's Office, stellar reputation. I believe that he is the person who should come forth, uh, select, if he thinks it's appropriate, uh, a special uh, counsel yep. to address this issue and, and move forward. Congressman, real quick, John Heilman here. Who do, who do you think would be good for that job? And uh, it, what do you think of the idea now being floated of Merrick Garland to run the FBI? I think uh, Mr. Garland, Judge Garland would be fine. Um, I think uh, Rogers, they would say, uh, Congressman Rogers, they were uh, mentioning, would be fine. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think Rosenstein would be fine, to be frank with you. Um, but we need, we have to have people like that who will, will, will do what is right by the American people. We have got to move forward with this. And, and keep in mind, the Republicans, and, and, and I, don't, I want you all to be clear, and Joe, I've listened to you, and you've been absolutely right. The Republicans have to work with the Democrats to put country first. I mean, we cannot even get any cooperation. And Paul Ryan, who everybody says is going to be the future president someday, will not lift a finger with regard to this investigation. And it is very upsetting to me as a member of Congress. It hurts that we are basically sitting on the sideline. And I know Adam Schiff is doing the best he can with the uh, Intelligence Committee. But, but Ryan needs to, to stop uh, helping to be an aider and a better of uh, President Trump and be a supporter of the United States of America. I mm -hmm. want to pass on a democracy to my children and my children's children that is intact. We cannot let one man destroy our democracy. Elijah, uh, I, I, I share your disappointment with so many Republicans that right now just are not stepping up and choosing country over party. They're just not doing that, and they need to. Elijah, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. As always, it's great to have you here.
Thank you so much, friend. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.